Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to Check Me. Um, of course, as I always do, I cover Philadelphia Eagles sports. Uh, we're going to talk about this uh, Tampa Bay uh, uh, Philadelphia Eagles game. And I just want to thank all the people that have been tuning in and who've been watching my show over the past uh, like year, year and a half. I've really been getting after it um, when it comes to just sports talk, sports media, and things have been ramping up ever since the football season started. So if you've been watching, I just want to say thank you. But let's hop right into it. Um, I thought Philadelphia Eagles had a decent showing. Um, defense, of course, I think stepped up again. Um, their f defense is finding ways to win games for us, whether it's turnovers or just playing sound defense. Um, you know, I think it's, it feels good for the defense to come in and face an offense like Tampa Bay and and kind of and kind of stop them. Really, you know, only really giving up uh, uh, three meaningful points in three quarters, and then the the last the one drive they had during the game where they scored uh, you know eight points. Uh, they scored they scored the the touchdown two point conversion. Our defense played well. They did a really good job of stopping the run. A uh, really good job of mitigating Mike Evans. Um, he had ten targets, only five receptions. Uh, Chris Godwin. That that offense is typically you know um, a, a well oiled machine. Uh, but right now, when they you know, but the Philadelphia Eagles did a really good job. Guys up front. I mean, the, the defensive line is just phenomenal. And you know, you talk about our window of opportunity. We have a huge window of opportunity to, to get back to the Super Bowl, to win the Super Bowl, especially if we're getting pressure like this. And if the guys stay healthy, being healthy is a huge thing because you know being healthy can change the dynamic, or just change the projection of a team throughout the whole season. A couple of things that I did see, um, I, I, I saw uh, that I liked the running game stay strong on the offensive side of the ball. Uh, and and uh, let me go back to defense. What I liked on defense was the defense play as a unit. Uh, Reed Brinkenship, you know, stepped up once again. He's starting to kind of fit into that safety position. Um, there were some guys that were really out of position, and there was a lot of drop passes on Tampa Bay's uh, side as well, too, that could have easily ch changed the, the flow of the game. Um, you know, it's still early. It's only game three, but making sure those guys are in position, making sure those guys, um, you know, uh, continue to make plays is going to be allow the defense to play sharper and execute a lot more as we continue to play tougher teams. Um, the second, uh, the front four did well. I like the linebacker core. There were, there were times where... Um, there were times where the linebackers were out of position in coverage. Um, they sunk too deep into the, um, you know, until towards the line of scrimmage and couldn't get back in coverage, which allowed some of the on that couple of those drives, um, Tampa Bay to get those, you know, get those third downs, complete those third downs and whatnot. Um, but overall, I thought they did really good stopping the run, you know, filling the gaps. Um, there was a lot of pressure up front, so um, you know it made their job a lot easier. There was at one point where. Jalen Carter and Jordan Davis were getting double teamed. So, you know, as a linebacker, you want to scrape, 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 fill. They did a good job of that. On the back end, I felt like I said, I thought we could do things sharper. Um, you know, when playing against the better teams, you can't miss tackles. Um, I think that, you know, ensuring that we're breaking tackles, but also being in position. The Mike Evans drop pass, you know, he had a couple of those. I thought that was huge. Uh, and then, um, they start attacking Joby when when Brad Bear is out. They start attacking uh, uh, Joby, uh, Job when um, you know with Mike Mike Evans and whatnot. It was almost like whatever side he was on, they were throwing to him. What I did see is I did see Brad Bear coaching up towards the end of the game, and those are the things that you want to see. You want to see a defensive unit, veterans, uh, you know, coaching up the young guys, and you have that pretty much at all different levels of the um, uh, of on our defense. So. I thought defense played well, sound. Uh, I hope they continue to stay healthy and continue to keep that up. Um, and they have a lot of guys to go float around. We haven't even really, you know, got a chance to see Eli Ricks and, and Kylie Ringo. These are two guys that can easily develop into a starting role or, you know, a, a top role um, as the season goes on. So um, I love the fact that on the back end we have some guys who can, who can fly around and our backups I, who I personally feel if they had to jump in, they can fly around as well too. Uh, now the, on the offensive side, I, I was happy that we continued running the ball. That was that was huge for me. Um, just being able, just being able to um, be, you know, be uh, intentional, be violent, and win at the point of contact. Um, even when we had uh, Land Anderson go down, Otipa came in and he, you know, he stepped up and 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 got in there and blocked well. Um, you know, well balanced, pretty much between Gainwell and Swift. Uh, Sixteen carries for Swift, fourteen carries for Gainwell. Um, you know, Swift at 130, game will have 43. 43. Of course, Jalen Hurts had, you know, 10 carries, but a lot of those come from the tush push on third and one and whatnot. Um, at some point, some teams are going to figure out how to stop, how to stop that. Uh, and then, but I'm sure they're getting, you know, the Eagles are game plan something forward as well, too. Um, Jalen Hurts, I was not happy with him. 
Um, I'll talk a little bit more about how I felt with John, about John Hurts and his gameplay and his press, his post game conference as well too, and some things that we should just pay attention to. Um, but I thought he was you know mildly efficient. He made the plays on third down when he was supposed to make. Uh, you want you you want your four minute offense not to give the team the ball back, and that's what they did. So I thought that was well when they executed. Uh, but the miscommunication on the route, uh, I'm not I, I'm not sure if it was even. Uh, I think it was was it Gamewell Gamewell I think Gamewell's fault. I personally think that um, it shouldn't have been thrown. He was thrown to a backer anyway. If uh, he would curled, if he would have curled, he would throw an interception. And that deep route was just a bad ball. Um, did good defense to play, but that's a bad ball. Um, and if an intercept, if a if a, a somebody makes an interception and not off of a tip, and there wasn't miscommunication, it's not a great play. It was a bad ball. You shouldn't have thrown it. Um, but I'll, I'll get to that. His quarterback rating was 71. Um, he wasn't necessarily daunting on the ground. He did make some big runs and whatnot uh, when he needed to. Uh, but it wasn't like it was daunting, like he was, you know, uh, um, you know, daunt, dotting people through the air. He was efficient. I, I like that receiver play. Um, one of the big reasons why our offense hasn't been moving well is because we don't have a downfield, downfield threat. And you have a guy like Omelide uh, Zacchaeus who – you know he's a four-five guy. You know, and you know he's not going to spread the field as a fourth as a four-three guy like Quez Watkins. You know, when you have a four-three guy like Quez Watkins, you're taking the safeties back. You know, they're they're getting back, and then it opens up stuff for guys like AJ Brown and Devontae Smith to work in the middle. So essentially, Devontae Smith kind of gets lost in this offense when you have a guy like Omelette Zacchaeus, you know, running around when Devontae Smith is essentially your go-to guy. You know, go-to guy. Um, I don't like the fact that uh, uh, A.J. Brown got 14 targets. Uh, I think he whined last game. I think that this is something that he's shown over the years as far as, you know, a year, last year he was not getting the ball in the playoffs, and Devontae Smith has a mentality of just winning, winning, winning. You know, do what it takes. If we run the ball, we run the ball. We pass the ball, we pass the ball. But giving him 14 targets, especially when he dropped the touchdown pass and dropped another pass, after complaining and not and, and, and having that tie around the sideline, regardless if it was mitigated this week, for him to go that go and and have that type of showing, or just give him 14 targets, I'm not really happy of that about that. I do like the fact that Brian Johnson is 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 I think he started getting better at a, as a play caller, and that's starting to show. Um, you know, I think that it's execution. If we execute well, we we'll, you know we we'll, we won't criticize the uh, the play calling, but if we don't execute well, then you know we'll criticize the play calling. Um, Jalen Hurts had pretty much a good pocket throughout the whole night. He was only sacked one time, um, but overall, I thought I thought the Philadelphia Eagles came out had a good showing. Um, it's a it's a win that you, like we said, was not completely done. There's a lot of work that still needs to be, still needs to be done, um, but it's good to get those wins. Uh, up next, we have uh, why I think Washington um, is it in Philadelphia. Is that is that the link or is it? Let's see where it's at. Yeah, we have Washington at the link, um, and then the Rams, and then uh, the Jets. And our schedule starts to get, you know, tougher because we have the Commanders, who it's a sneaky division game. They're always going to play us tough. Like, I think someone mentioned our last loss, you know, regular season. Our, our When we were undefeated, we lost to the, uh, the Commanders. I uh, got the Rams, who are playing tough football. Um, they're going to have to run the ball against us, but playing tough football. The Jets, who, you know, I think this should be a, shouldn't be a trap game. We should win, but we got the Dolphins. Then we got the Cowboys, the Chiefs, the Bills, the 49ers, the Cowboys, and the Seahawks again. You know, we have the hardest schedule in the league. And, and if we get through this schedule and, and we're able to, you know, get through this schedule and we're able to, you know, finish with the Giants, Cardinals, and Giants, you know, I think that, um, you know, th- this season is not is not designed, this schedule is not designed for us to, to, to go into this season or to go into the playoff, uh, playoffs winless, uh, you know, uh, with no losses. Um, so, uh, it's going to be a tough schedule, and we got to get things right for the nucleus of, the, of, of our of our games going into the midseason stretch. This is the most important, vital thing we got to get squared away. But overall, I'm happy we got the we, we got the win. We have to get better as a unit as 